I don't know if Ron knows about this. I'm not too sure if the client knows about all this here. It's just, it's like being all sanded and hasn't been polished out. That would be uh, very, very bad if that happens. So it's a beautiful restore. Yeah, it's just the finishing down process. Stone tips, holograms through here. Hey guys, Joe here from Clean Getaway again. Well, as you have just seen, we've got a pretty epic car in here today at the workshop. We've got a Corvette Roadster, a 1960 model. So it is one of a kind car. It's had a full reef spray. So much work has been done to it. And it's right here coming into our workshop to get a paint correction and a ceramic coating as well. Uh, firstly though, we wanna let you know that we need to make sure we look over this car thoroughly. Uh, it's had a full respray, so much money's worth of paint has been put on this car, but there are some little defects that we're, we've been made aware of, that we've seen, a few little stone chips, a uh, few little painting errors. So we wanna make sure we highlight that first before we do any work, just to protect ourselves and just so the client is aware of it as well, but let's check out this awesome car. So it just started raining outside when we had the Corvette out there when we were looking over the paintwork. So we brought it inside, we're gonna wash it now, decontaminate it, dry it down, and then we can inspect the paintwork to see what we're dealing with. So we're just going to be putting in a little bit more soap into this bucket as we do the decontamination process just to make it extra sudsy and more slip. And then we're going to clay towel it. It doesn't seem to be really contaminated but we still want to do it just to be safe and we're really not going to apply much pressure at all uh, just so we don't inflict any light marring or scratches. So now to dry it down with the Bowden's Big Green Sucker. It's like they've tried to polish out these uh, marks here. I'm trying to get that reflection through. I want it. Bloody hell. I don't know if Ron knows about this. I'm not too sure if the client knows about all this here. That there's going to be machine polished out. Looks like it runs all along the bottom here, on the seal here, down low. It's just, it's like been all sanded and hasn't been polished out. Weird. Yeah, it must got to do with when they put this in and they've cut it out and... The paint does look like a matte. It is, it's a beautiful respray. Yeah, it's just the finishing down process. But that all, that all should correct That's out. sanded the whole car down perfect. Yeah, it's like no peel. There's nearly no peel. Stone chips. Um, all through here too, you can see where they are. I don't know what that is. It's like, have they not painted the edge there? I'm not too sure. It's like the same thing on the... Yeah. Oh, it? Hopefully it comes out, but... Holograms through here. Um, and all around down here too. All around here. Yeah. So... Look at all in there. Yeah. That's really hard to get to as well. 
So just looking at this engine bay here, um, it's quite dusty and dirty. We're just gonna clean it down. And if you come and have a look, you'll see there is just stacks of buffing holograms through it um, from when they painted it. So we're gonna be cleaning that down and machine polishing all that out to make it come up super glossy and bring out that color. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the Bowden Zone Flash Prep. This is their uh, surface preparation spray. It's an alcohol-based cleaner, and it's just safely cleaning down the surface uh, to make sure the polish, residue, uh, all those kind of different chemicals, they're, they're no, more lo no longer on the actual panel. And we just have to spray quite a fair bit of product to really lubricate the surface, because this paintwork is soft as butter. Uh, this, this is all fiberglass, I'm pretty sure we can't measure any of it. Um, so it's really, really soft, and we wanna make sure we don't inflict any swirls or marring just by preparing the car to be coated. That would be uh, very, very bad if that happens. So we're using brand new microfiber towels to do this, as well as brand new microfiber towels and appliques when we install the G-Tech Me Christmas Serum Ultra.